Hey, I'm here with one of my new friends. What's your name? Hey, how you doing there? I'm Cyril. Hey, Cyril, <laughs> you are in a band. I can tell by your clothes. What's your band? Uh, the band's name is called Flaming Grooves. Flaming Groove. Whoa, I know that band. You guys are super good. Well, you are a real sweetheart, aren't you? <laughs> so, so, so when did you start making rock and roll? Oh, we started back in uh, when, when we were in high school, about 1965. Whoa, was it fun to be in high school? It was lots of fun to be in high school. What was your favorite class? Um, all of them, actually, and uh, it was so much fun being in high school that I would also do summer school. Oh, that's great, you get extra. <laughs> and then did you guys play high schools? Yeah, we used to play high school. We had Battle of the Bands. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> is, it, is it hard to play music? Uh, it depends what kind of music it is. Is your music hard? Our music's a little bit hard. It's easy to play it, but it takes a lot of your energy. Oh, well, energy is really important. Rock and roll is, is very strenuous. All right, it's a workout. It's a total workout. Hey, well, do you have any advice to kids who might want to work out playing rock and roll? Uh, best thing to do if you're an instrumentalist, if you play uh, guitar or piano or bass or something, and you want to put a group together, uh, best thing to do is get a good drummer. A good drummer, that's you, important. You want to get a good drummer, because if you have a good drummer, then it's easy for you and the drummer to start playing songs from beginning to end. Then other people can come in and just, it'll be really easy for them to join in. The bottom's important. The bottom is real important. Hey, we're going to get to the bottom of a Flaming Groovy song. <laughs> what is the best dance song you ever made? Ooh, the best dance song we ever made. Maybe a song called Yeah, My Baby. Yeah, My Baby. Is it okay if the kids in Chicago dance to Yeah, My Baby? That would be fantastic. All right, we're going to dance to Yeah, My Baby, Sir Jordan. I, I've got a great story about oh, Yeah, wait, My Baby. Oh, tell it, tell it. Uh, Dave Edmonds was our producer. Uh, on this album, um, and that studio he used was in South Wales. Now, David cut an album, uh, and there was a, a track on there called Juju Man, and it had a fantastic uh, lead break. It was this very strange instrument, and I asked him, I said, where did you get that instrument? A little, little type of uh, Cajun accordion. And he said there was a guy who uh, ran a pub in Monmouth, in Wales, who uh, was an old-timer and had made records in the 30s, and, and Dave borrowed that instrument from him. And I, I said to him, I said, well, did he know who you were? And he says, he hated rock and roll. Uh, when Dave asked him about uh, what he thought of Elvis or whatever, and he would just say, it's all yeah, ma, baby. And I, you know, we couldn't believe it. That's all he had gotten out of rock and roll was yeah, my baby. So I told Dave, I said, I'm going to write a song called yeah, my baby. And did you going to use that instrument? Well, I forgot about it. Two weeks later, I made up, uh, I invented a tuning on the guitar, and I, and I and started playing a lick. And Edmonds, the producer, came, comes out of the room, and he goes, is that Yeah, My Baby? And I said, oh, yeah, I guess it is. So we wrote Yeah, My Baby, but that's the Yeah, that's My Baby. That's awesome. Song. Hey, so you were in Wales? We were in South Wales, yeah. You were in Wales? Yeah, was, so I you're like Jonah. I was like Pinocchio. You like Pinocchio. <laughs> hey, well, that's great. We're going to dance to that song right now. Zero Jordan, yay! <laughs> Thanks so much, huh? Thank you. You are so cute. You're the best. <laughs> and you're cute, too. Thanks. Yeah, my baby, 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 yeah